everyone, this is Mark with uh, Into Mobile, and um, we're here live at the Sprint and Kyocera event, and we're taking a look at the Kyocera Echo. So go ahead, take it away. So uh, what you're seeing here is just standard mode. It's like a traditional three and a half inch. Uh, standard two, Android 2.2, nothing real fancy here. Basically, kind of uh, you know, what you're used to. You got a dialer here. Uh, the thing that'll be really interesting here, though, is I'll open up email and kind of show you where this really shines. So I'm going to show you the, the work email. Nothing real exciting here. This is just corporate email. Uh, and I'll click on an email here. That's pretty cool, but where this is really going to shine is when I open it up. So it's a uh, patented hinge. Uh -huh. Pivot hinge basically folds on itself and basically allows you to put the device into two three and a half inch displays. Gotcha. Which measure about 4.7 inches. And I clicked on that email here. Um, and what you can see here that's pretty cool is I've got pretty much the body of the email and then I've got preview here. So I've got two screens that are active screens. Uh -huh. We can flip it here. And you can see up here I've got full, and if I click on that, it'll actually let me see the full side of the email itself. Or I can go back to standard where I can see the, the body of the email as well as the... Um, your inbox. Yeah, your inbox basically in a list view. So pretty cool. Uh, really kind of shows the two screen experience. I'm going to click on an address and pull up maps. And this kind of shows you as well too where you can have a tablet mode where I basically okay. have Google Maps in a really much bigger format. Um, I can actually click on where we are here, it's looking for our location, finding our location, I'll pull up our location, I'll do a street view, it really kind of shows you the beauty of having two three and a half inch screens for a 4.7 inch display. Okay, now can you swipe across screens, uh, will, will, that, will that register uh, your, your touch sensitivity, say so you were swiping up and down? Um, Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. There's actually a real small gap here, uh -huh. about a little less than a quarter of an inch gap, and that's been kind of the tricky part of a dual touch screen in the past is actually getting a gap that actually is small enough to really render it useful, basically. Okay. Yep. So that's kind of what things look like in tablet mode. I'll show you maybe um, it's a really cool app on here called ViewCube. I'm just kind of backing out of this. So UQ is a YouTube app that's uh -huh. customized for the device, and it takes advantage of the display on the top to run videos as well as Q. I think what I need to do is log into my account. So now ViewQ is only available on the Kyocera Echo. It is, and it's optimized for the two-screen experience. Okay. So what you're going to see here is I'll, uh, I'll kick off a video. And the video will kick off here in the top, and it'll actually play the video up above. But the screen down below is actually queuing up other videos. So gotcha. this is a video. It's not a, uh, a great video as far as action. But what you can see here is I can drag and drop other videos to the queue. And as soon as this video is done playing, it would queue up the next video, basically. Okay. So this is showing you a customized application that works in optimized mode, which is really taking one application and making it better across two uh, screens, basically. Gotcha. So you can also uh, you can also compose text messages and emails with the uh, the body on, on one screen and the entire keyboard on the screen below, correct? Yep, absolutely. We call that simulcasting uh -huh. or simultasking. And any of these I, uh, applications with a little blue icon are actually capable of simultasking. So I'll launch messaging. Okay. So this is just tr traditional SMS. And then I'll click on both displays. And I'll bring up a little task manager, and I'll actually pull up maybe a browser on the bottom screen. So now I've got a browser and text messaging. Nice. So maybe I want to see, uh, I'm at the Edison Hotel, pull up some information on the Edison Hotel or the Edison Ballroom, uh -huh. and quickly click off a text. When I click off a text, I'll pull up a really nice big keyboard as well, too. Okay. So full-size keyboard while I'm texting, and I can go right back to uh, the browser on the bottom and text messaging on the top here. Gotcha. This browser, this video, it's not showing real well. It's a real flash intensive and it's a pretty dark background. Okay. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go to Facebook. So you can see Facebook in the browser in the bottom. Uh -huh. um, and then up here, what I'll do is I will actually 
I'll do two browsers. Okay. Um, so it's actually launching two browsers here. Should be. Very right. possible. Okay. And then I'm going to launch Twitter up above. Okay. Nice. So, uh, what kind of processor is in this phone? It's a one gigahertz uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Okay. And the uh, RAM? It's got a uh, gigabyte of RAM, half a gigabyte of ROM. Okay. And then uh, eight gigabyte micro SD card is included with the device. Okay. Also uh, comes with a uh, 1370 milliamp battery. Okay. And we include a second battery. Uh -huh. It's kind of this handy dandy portable charger. Gotcha. So there's a battery inside the charger? Yeah, it's actually a battery inside the charger. And the, the $199 price includes this battery and charger, correct? It does, yeah. So you can actually charge the battery separately or you can use the battery to uh, independently charge the phone itself. So I can actually click this button and it actually would start charging the phone itself kind of as a backup bas uh, battery, basically. Okay, awesome. Yep. So this is running just a, a clean Android 2.2. There's no custom UI on it. There isn't, but the applications that go across dual screen obviously are customized to some extent. So the simultask apps are fairly customized applications, and the applications like ViewCube, uh, the gallery, uh -huh. are customized to optimize the use of both displays, basically. But in general, it's standard Android. Android apps work on this device in standard mode, which is really that single screen mode. Okay. And they also work real well in that tablet mode as well, too. Gotcha. So these are just standard now, Android apps. Are, are Kyocera and Sprint um, working on getting this on Android 2.3 gingerbread anytime soon, or so sometime in the future at least? Potentially, yeah. Right, right now at least, you know, obviously we'll launch with 2.2. We've announced the spring is our right. launch date. Okay. Uh, and we're usually fairly aggressive at getting the upgrades 2.3, but from a time to market perspective, we narrowed in on 2.2. We've been working on this for sure. probably over a year. Okay. So it's been in development for quite a bit of time. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.